What I'm about to do might be the dumbest or greatest idea I've ever had. Dumbest. I'm not sure. Dumbest. <laughs> Ashley says dumbest. Why dumb? Ashley says dumbest. I don't have many options. Maybe he's going to chop his arm off. I'm not going to joke about that. Okay. Gonna joke about that. He's, go he's going to. Love you guys. Goodbye. Ashley does not approve at all about what I'm about to do, but today's actually my birthday, and you get to do whatever you want to do on your birthday. Where would I find like your best chainsaw? Oh. Just something big and powerful. Like if you're looking for like the actual big, big ones, it's gonna be on aisle three. We have a huge problem that I'm trying to solve here, but to understand this problem, you've got to rewind the tape to a few days earlier. So you wanna say it with me? Uh -huh. That's a wrap! <laughs> right here, we just wrapped shooting our new Easter music video. As part of the music video, we got a grand piano and put it in the middle of this big, beautiful field. It was a pretty challenging task. The piano was really old and had some unique components that made it super heavy. Good. Peace, man. There it is. Does it work? The movers had such a hard time loading it in their truck that they showed up two hours late to our shoot, missing our beautiful sunrise lighting. Now we have too much sun and it's blasting out at Ashley's eyes. Then the field we were in, even though it looks sort of grassy, was actually incredibly soft and muddy. The truck got stuck trying to get far enough away for us to shoot some drone shots. It actually got stuck twice. After doing the best we could with bright noonday lighting, we left the field to go finish our music video in another location. We are done with our field piano shots. Goodbye, piano, you were good to us. They're gonna take this to a better home now. And that's when the movers were supposed to pack up the piano and take it out of the field. But things didn't exactly go as planned. We just saw a very concerning comment on YouTube. Someone commented like, LOL, is that why there's still a piano in the middle of the field at the exact location where we filmed? If the piano was still there, that means they waited for us to leave and then they just left. And now I'm stuck with a piano in the field. So I'm driving back to see if they just left the piano there. Oh my gosh, they did not. I cannot believe they just left this piano there. You've got to be kidding me right now. Well, I already dropped a thousand dollars to move this piano out of this field. And now I've got to figure out another way to get it out. Oh my gosh. Special kind of humans. All right, I'll call them. We'll see what they say. I get it. I bet he doesn't answer, but. This is right there. She's taking a picture of it. We're gonna get in huge trouble. We are gonna get in trouble. We gotta figure this out. Oh my gosh, I wanna text him so bad. No, don't make any enemies. We don't need enemies. We'll figure it out. Okay, come home with a plan. That's already in motion. <laughs> Okay, love, love you. Uh, just try to call a local piano mover and just double pay for this thing. The thing is, everyone's going to be closed right now. It's a weekend. This is a local piano company. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. You're oh, what am I going to do? Here comes another person to take a picture. This is the fifth person since I showed up like 10 minutes ago. She comes <laughs> to take a picture. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> this is so ridiculous. Oh, dude, this is this is so ridiculous. How do I get myself in these situations? <laughs> I don't know how I do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. People were coming in like crazy to take pictures. It was only a matter of time before this whole thing was traced back to our YouTube channel, which would be publicly shamed and declared a public nuisance to the entire Seattle area. But then something totally unexpected happened. Yeah, look, I'll show you. It was on the news? Yeah, look, Cairo posted it of these ladies. See, people are commenting about it. <laughs> hey. It is in the news. What? We drive by every single day. We're locals around here. We always like to look over and check out all the elk and stuff. And yesterday, instead of elk, there just happened to be a random grand piano out here. 
it's pretty uh, busted up. Even the keys that do play um, don't play super well. What a, a great thing to come and stop and see. I think it's just a great thing for us just to have something to talk about. This is uh, honestly such a refreshing thing to find, especially in the pandemic. We have no idea we can make up a story of why this was put out here. Music video performed out here. Piano movers dropped it off here for some reason. I think somebody put it here for me. I couldn't think of a better place for a piano. I guess I've wanted one here my whole life. Maybe this is just a sign for people to get out more and enjoy the beauty that we have around us every day. Like everyone's inspired by it. That's why so many people are coming by to see it. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, like is it like they think it's a good thing? Yeah, everyone like loves it. <laughs> All these people are coming to see it. <laughs> okay, send me the news link, I guess. <laughs> okay. That sounds awesome, dude. Thanks. It's starting to rain really hard. I'm gonna go head back home for a little bit, try to find some movers to get it out of the field. Back. How's it going, Cano Man? It is awesome. There's like a steady stream of people, just like super inspired by it. And we still gotta figure out how to get the piano out of the field. But I don't think it's as big of a, as an emergency as I originally thought and it got on the news that there's a piano in the field and people are playing beautiful music on it. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, right? <laughs> After thinking about this for a couple of days, I think I've got a plan. A plan that I'm guessing will be a little controversial. So if you look at the components of a grand piano, the frame is the part that is so heavy. It's like a metal frame that sits in the bed of the piano. And that, I swear, it's like the densest metal. It's so heavy. And so I'm thinking if we can get that out of the piano, we should be able to just lift the rest easily into a truck. I, I just want to make something abundantly clear. This piano was totally destroyed after sitting in the rain for a couple of days. It was a really, a few weeks that it didn't rain either in March. Yeah. It's totally wrecked. What's wrecked about it? The piano is totally destroyed. You can't even push the keys anymore. You can't. It was already in terrible condition. In fact, the, the guy that I got it from offered me $200 just to take it off his hands. That, that's how bad of condition it was in before I even got the piano. Like, it, it's going to the landfill. There's no other place for it. Like, it's going there. So I, I just want to make sure that that is clear before you judge what, a, what I'm about to do. It's actually an interesting thing about pianos in general. If you go on like your local Craigslist, and I just search like free piano, there is one, two, three, four, 28 free pianos in the Seattle area. It's a really sad thing because the piano is a beautiful instrument, but some of these older pianos are just so heavy and they're getting old and people don't know what to do with them. And so they try to give them away and it's almost impossible to get rid of them. That's why I can usually find pianos for our music video shoots super easy. The, the field is super muddy. There's no way we're gonna risk getting another big truck out there. It's gonna get stuck again. To carry it from the spot in the field where it's at, way out there to the road is gonna be just a monumental task. It's gonna take six to eight non-socially distanced people. To me, I think there's only one way to take care of this problem. Uh, how big a bar, bar do you want? Cut down trees. It's a pretty thick piece of wood. Uh, how thick? Uh, Good deal. This is ethanol free. That's really important because ethanol screws those small edges. If you got a lot of work, you might want to get two gallons. There's the gas and the oil together. Right, here we go. The piano working still? No. It got destroyed by the rain. I don't think it was working that great before. Do you know what you're doing? Not really. Because I'm a piano tech. Oh, really? This is gonna be crazy. These strings, 
they're just gonna fly all over the place. It's a lot. It's a lot of work to take a piano apart. Yeah. Good luck. This is becoming a stupider and stupider idea by the minute. The first thing I'm gonna do for sure is just cut the strings with some string cutters. There's people still all over here watching me. I think that lady's a reporter. The last thing I want is to end up on the news using a chainsaw on this, on this piano. The reporter that did the story. Every time I'm about to chainsaw this thing, people keep showing up. Look at this. Check this guy out. <laughs> it's so cool. I can't chainsaw this thing tonight I, in front of all these people. I'm gonna have to come back like super early in the morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> with our talents, like how kind he is and how fun he is to play with. What do you think of your favorite thing about dad? Snuggling in his armpit. It's how he works so hard for us and he takes such good care of us, always. A toast to dad and how great he is. <laughs> Claire says I am encouraging about talents and that is that's a big deal for me. I think it's so important to improve yourself and that's why I love the sponsor of this video. Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. They have classes on things like photography, film and video, animation, music, music production, and just tons more. The impact of COVID-19 has forced most of us to do learning at home and online, which has not been super easy. For us, we decided to homeschool our kids this year, which honestly is something we never thought we would do but we've actually loved it because it leaves tons of time for us to explore brand new subjects and things that you would never learn about in your standard public schooling. And to teach our kids a lot of those new subjects, we've relied on Skillshare. We've taken advantage of Skillshare's workshops, which allow you to participate in live classes. We've taken classes on sparking creativity with kids, building kids confidence through drawing, and the you can draw anything in three easy steps class, which was one of my favorite teachers. She was fantastic. We've also done classes using Adobe's character animator, which has been super fun. And we did a class on gardening 101. And after that class, we went to work. We got all the stuff we needed and we planted a garden in our very own backyard. It's gonna be really interesting to see what sprouts up and grows over the next few weeks, applying what we've learned in our class. They're always adding new premium classes. There's no ads or disruptions. So you can stay focused and learn all sorts of different skills. And it's less than $10 a month if you have the annual subscription. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. So you can start learning uh, and exploring your creativity right this second. The classes are short and designed for real life. By the end of this day, you could be doing something that you didn't know you could do yesterday feel that satisfaction that comes with building yourself, building your talents, and building your skills. There's nothing more satisfying than that feeling. So thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, for inspiring creativity everywhere, and for helping us through our homeschooling experience. Hopefully the saga is about to end. Remember that I sent you with all the fours that Adam. Okay. We're going back in the dark of night, and we're gonna chainsaw and get that piano out of there. This is where this all ends. I'm sorry to all the people who love the piano. I'm sorry, I love the piano too. But some people are mad about it. They think we're dumping. That's gotta go. There, looks like there's still a car here and some people playing the piano a little bit still. 
just being a popular guy around town. <laughs> Man, it's beautiful out here. All I hear are like the crickets all alone in the middle of this field, in the middle of nowhere. City of stars Are you shining just for me? Who knows? Is this the start of something wonderful and new? Oh, piano was over a hundred years old. That will be the last song I ever played on it. My friends are just showing up. They're here ready to take this thing apart, take it down and say goodbye. I wonder if we just do an axe across the piano wires and then go from there. That metal thing is like right around the top, that's what's so heavy. Yeah. If we can get that out of it, we should be able to. Well, the piano was taken down. We're just loading the last little pieces up into the back of the truck here. Guys, you guys saved me. Seriously saved me. Yeah, no problem. Hey, this was, uh, this was fun, so. So much stress. This is the last day trying to figure out what I'm gonna do about this. Mission accomplished. Thank you.